Lead to a better life. Today marks a truly memorable anniversary for a part-time artist from Henrico. In his latest Eye of a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Cole Pearson introduce us to a teacher who is finding new ways to be creative and that newfound talent is helping her heal. I honestly can't imagine my life not painting now. Some artists push boundaries. It's hard sometimes. To create outside their comfort zone. It was an outlet for me to try and express myself, I guess. For Sarah Anderson. All right, this is too blue. A revolutionary new way to paint was switching sides. I used to paint with my right hand a long time ago. I'm a right-handed person. She started painting with her opposite hand last spring, and it's paying off. I think my left-handed paintings are better than my right-handed paintings, and, I'm, and I really feel that way. From landscapes and hearts to abstract. Um, these are acrylics. Even before the paint dries, Sarah's canvases sell. A surprise since painting is her hobby. I want things to be happy and light and joyful. That bandage on her right hand? No, I have a little burn. Is not why she went lefty. You can't take that memory away. The reason is something far more sinister. The prognosis wasn't good at all. One year ago, January 15th, Sarah suffered a massive stroke following lung surgery. It came out of the blue. It came out of nowhere. Sarah's husband, Pat. You know, you just don't know what to do. I mean, it was horrible. That hour and a half was one of the hardest things I've ever been through in my life. The 50-year-old underwent a second operation in as many days at VCU Medical Center. It's hard to hear your life could have ended. The Stroke Center gave me back my life. The Henrico kindergarten teacher at Jackson Davis Elementary faced months of rehab. Everything's not gonna be the same. I know that. I've accepted the fact everything's not gonna be the same. What can I do to make it better? To challenge herself, she picked up a brush left-handed and hasn't stopped. I think it's helping me process things. It's definitely helping me with control on my hand. Sarah says her early works were forgettable. There are some that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awful. <laughs> but Pat saw masterpieces and recommended she market them. Word of mouth Instagram, and it just blew up. I mean, it's unbelievable some of the stuff she does. Sarah scoffed at the idea. But soon requests for her creations came pouring in. I went through a purple phase, so we have some purple paintings. She has sold dozens of originals. I know I've done 72 hearts because we started numbering them. Every penny of proceeds donated to the Stroke Center at VCU. We have encountered angels everywhere we have come. Each colorful canvas, a thank you for her lifesavers as she heals. You start to realize that what's really important is your health and your family and your friends. For Sarah Anderson, pushing boundaries while painting left-handed makes everything in her life right. I feel good. There's some things I still need to work on, but you know, we're, we're getting there. Even though Sarah is making progress, she says she's not likely to go back to painting right-handed anytime soon. If you'd like to order one of her prints, I put the information on our website at WTVR.com. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.